This is bull crap. You're gouging us just because you can. Well, if you want to pay less, maybe you should go find someone more generous, hmm? Looks like they're at it again. Uh. Uh. Benwick, snap out of it! Benwick! Huh? I was haggling for supplies, and... Tell you what. I'll give you a fair price. Actually, just take what you need. <sighs> we should all endeavor to help contribute to the common good of humanity, rather than selfishly pursue wanton profit. What? Uh, are you sure? Uh, uh, yeah. No. Wait. What was I saying? You felt that too, didn't you, kiddo? Yeah. It disappeared, but I felt a strong force coming from somewhere to the north. It's called a domain. A Moloch's zone of influence. Wait, if it's north of here, then... The Empyrean's throne? Did that happen because of something Inominat and Artorius did? <laughs> I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. We should get far away from here, and quickly. So... The suppression... Well, that was certainly off-putting. But our job with Tabitha comes first. And we need a hideout soon, too. True enough. Hey, geezer. You all right? What nonsense are you spouting, youngin? That's one spirited old man. Well, it's just that you suddenly got all polite on me, and you were all like, Oh no, good chum, worry not about your debt to me. I thought I said stop spouting nonsense. It's not nonsense. You did say it. I heard you say it. He did. But we were all acting strangely. You said, after you, fine sir. And I said, no, 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 I simply couldn't. You first, dear friend. There's no way in hell I would ever let you go first. Come to think of it, that's right. But he said not to worry about our debts, and now he's taking it back? That's inhuman. Cruel. Ruthless. They lost control of themselves, but still have their memories. Maybe something was manipulating them. What in the world happened to us? I don't get it. But what I do get is that he said we don't owe him nothing. So my debt to you is off, right, old man? Same here. Same here. Shut your traps. I'd be flat broke if I let you knuckleheads off the hook. Now shut up and pay up. Something really strange happened here. Seems so. And I think this is just the beginning of it. Get your seafood here. Today Straight from the harbor. Harbor. By now, while you still have a chance. The next chance of the rain is me. All right, we're safely on the rolling waves. Don't you think it's time you showed us your face, Mystery Monk? <laughs> You're right. My apologies. I knew it! Prince Percival! Percival Ilmid Asgard. Crowned prince and heir to the throne of the Midgan Kingdom. So he's next in line, is he? It looks like someone already had me figured out. Yes, your highness. I could tell from your fragrant wood scent, as only the royal family may wear it. But if I may ask, why? 
Must I explain myself to gain your aid? I myself could ask what an exorcist is doing consorting with members of the underworld. I... I don't... It doesn't matter why you're here. On this ship, you're here for us to use to our advantage. Treat me as you will. It's not like I can ever go back. For a fellow born with silver spoons spewing out of his mouth, Prince Ipu is rather laid back. Prince Percival is an upstanding man, renowned for both his intelligence and his fair, just demeanor. It's widely believed that with him on the throne, Midgan's prosperity will continue and... Look, I played dumb earlier, but I smelled that scent too. He wore it for us to notice. He wanted us to know just what sort of position he held, and how useful he could be to us. He surprised me, at least. Do you think we're being led into another trap? We definitely can't take that possibility off the table. When the time comes, he'll make a good hostage, if nothing else. Not if the ones we face are after his life, too. For now, let's just make sure we keep an eye on him. The Prince... He said he couldn't go back. I wonder why. The whole island's a prison. It's like a secret fort or something. Weirdly quiet, though. Yeah, I don't see a single exorcist on watch. <laughs> Let's scope out the inside. An exorcist. Are you all right? The Headless Knight is back? Think this is the demon that attacked her? Hmm, another prison riot? Kurogane, Dial, you two protect Kamoana and the Prince. Got Understood. It. Monkey, you're giving me a headache. Stay sharp. There's no mercy. Wounds that won't heal. Cards in the flesh. Make them pay. Hey, is everyone all right? So did the Abbey actually fail to quell the riot? I find that hard to believe. The prison was heavily staffed with exorcists. Perhaps it was venomization. Venomization? A dark ritual, forcing demons to eat each other in order to produce ever stronger demons. So the demons devoured each other, creating a demon too powerful for the exorcists to control? I imagine the riot didn't help. Now whose fault could that have been, I wonder? Whatever happened doesn't matter to us now. 
We need to focus on how to take this place for ourselves. That exorcist from before said something about a headless knight, right? That one's probably the leader. Then we hunt it down and destroy it. Until we capture the island, let's use this room for our staging ground. I'll leave the prince and Kamoana to you two. Eliminate any enemies who come in. Understood. Don't expect much from me, but all right. Kamoana, if anything happens, call for me and I'll come running to protect you, okay? Okay. You stay safe too, Eleanor. Let's go. Kind of obvious. Are we ready for this? Oh, 
was tougher than I would have liked. This recipe looks real tasty. Scout ship setting sail. to be extremely wary. No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Cards in the flesh! Lethal pain! Are we ready for this? Feel the 
blade of heaven will appear oh. now. Rise, arise, ascending, angel! I'm unbeatable! Elements of creation, devour! Devour! We won, right? Right? This island reeks with malevolence. I imagine it's emanating from all the big old demons roaming about. Hey, it's you again. Ah, I'm so busy! I'm so busy I can't even notice what's going on around me! You're not fooling anybody. Why bother? I was hoping to not have to deal with you guys. Whenever I run into you, I always lose so much monies. Because Velvet always forces unreasonable demands on you? Oh, Miss Exorcist! Your concern warms my little toitle's heart. I'm not forcing anything. I just think he's trying to take advantage of us by fixing his prices well above market rate. Price fixing? As in deliberately marking up items so as to take advantage of the less fortunate? I was under the impression that the Abbey strictly forbade such unscrupulous business tactics. Ah! B -b -b Perish the thought, Miz. Our accounting is always above board. 25 hours a day, 8 days a week. No matter whens and no matter wheres, you can get whatever you need for the same fair price. That's good to hear. Eleanor. Give the nice turtles that smile he so desires. I'm sure running a business is hard work. Hang in there. M much obliged. Are we ready for this? You won't get a word. No mercy! Wounds that will shield. Cards and deflect. Let him take that. You won't get a word. Even a short weapon is effective up close. And training can help it get even closer. Mine gets as long as I want it to be.
It's a big one. Are we ready for this? Okay? 